Tonight was the final night for the Oktoberfest in downtown Youngstown. Phelps Street was blocked off for a third straight night of food and music. It was the second year for the German festival in Youngstown. Now the Boardman Rotary Oktoberfest attracted thousands. Neighborhoods around the valley have new yard and home decorations for fall or you'll see some by Christmas. 27 First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner has more. The Boardman Rotary Oktoberfest is the area's largest one day arts and crafts event. This year, the event had around 270 vendors coming from five different states. Art craft vendor Sue Anderson is a part of the event, not for the first time, but the 15th time. I generally paint 14 hours a day. So to get some kind of reward out of it, it's great. Her business is called Yard Decor and More LLC, and her husband used to help out with this business until he passed away three years ago. We always talked about if one of us would die, if the other one would continue on and keep doing the crafts, and he would say, I wouldn't, and I said I would. Anderson says that even though it hasn't been easy, creating art for the community is what she loves to do. It's nice when people appreciate what you do. And um, they tell me that I do good work and makes you feel good. Another vendor, Linda B's Farm, sells fresh honey that is out here saving lives. High blood pressure, cholesterol, it builds up your immune system. Um, it helps with sore throats. It's good for inflammation. Um, so it is an all around good natural product to have. And since this is local honey, Vendor Ron Berry says this will be beneficial for the community. It's very good for your immune system because all of your allergies and your sinuses come from your areas. And Boardman, Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.